this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories and in today's video we're going to talk about the new membership levels form update. I'm really excited about this update. There's a lot of great benefits and we'll cover all of those in this video. So what is the membership levels form update and what are the benefits? Essentially it's now possible to easily create custom forms and to assign them to specific membership levels. What does that mean? It means that you can create a contact details form for your business listings and you can create a contact details form for your website visitors or for your job applicants. So each type of profile that's created on your website has a completely dynamic experience. There's no need, for example, to ask if there's a if they're a business or an individual or which specialty best describes them if they're a website visitor and they're just creating a profile in order to be able to favorite items on your website or possibly they're a job applicant applying for jobs. So there's certain items on your contact details form or your listing details form or your about form and so forth that you may or may not want to include for different membership levels. So what this update does is it allows you to have full control over which form is linked to which membership level. And it really opens up the door to a lot of new ways that you can use the software. There are five things that we'll be doing in this video. We're going to be installing the new update. And once we, up, once we complete the installation, we're then going to create a custom form by copying one. And that's the fastest way to getting that done. We'll then create a general user membership level it will then call the custom form that we created and then we'll go ahead and we'll create an actual profile for that membership level. So it's really an A to Z video on how to do everything. So let's get started. So we're logged into the admin portal now and in order to install this update all we need to do is go to membership levels, click on edit for any one of our membership levels, click on profile and you'll see the installation option here. What does this mean? It means that it's not necessary for you to submit a ticket and ask for us to install this update. This is how Brilliant Directory updates are rolled out. Uh, all you need to do is click on the install button and it'll just take a moment. So we're going to go ahead and do that now and show you how easy it is to install an update. And just like that we've completed the installation and now when we click on profile you'll see that we can now link which forms we want to use for which sections of the profile page. So we're going to go ahead and create a membership level for general users. We're also going to create a custom form. If you do not select a custom form, by default it will use the default custom details form, the default listing details form. So you don't need to go in there and select all the default forms. You only need to do this if you want to call a custom contact details form or a custom listing details form for a specific membership level. So let's go ahead and create a membership level called general user. And everything that we're doing now is to set up this specific membership level. So a general user is somebody that would visit your website and maybe they like a coupon or an event or a blog article or a specific business listing they found on your website. So when they go to favorite an item, the system is going to prompt them to create a profile. So we want to make sure that the contact details form for the general user is different from a business listing, of course. So we're going to go to toolbox, forms manager, we're going to select the contact details form, which is here, listing contact. We're going to copy this form. So rather than building a form from scratch where you need to remember all the different variable names and the, the, the field types and so forth, we're going to go ahead and copy it. That's the fastest way to doing this. So let's click on copy form. And if you see, if I click on save, you'll notice that I'm not able to because I have the same variable name and the same nickname. So it's important that you have a unique variable name and a unique nickname. For variable names, this is for throughout the system, it needs to be lowercase with no, spe no spaces and no special characters. So I'm going to go ahead and call this contact form, contact details form. 
underscore general user. That might be a little long, but that's fine. It shouldn't matter. And then here I'll call it listing contact general user. Go ahead and save that. And now you can see here that this is the actual form that we're using. So I'm not going to be adding anything to the form. I'm just going to be removing certain items. So we're going to scroll down and I'm going to say the listing represent. That's not necessary. I'll go ahead and delete that. I don't need company name. I don't need to ask for their permission position. I don't want them to select a top level category. I won't be asking for their phone number for, for privacy reasons. I could, but I'm assuming my general users won't want to leave their phone numbers. Um, everything else looks good. I'll go ahead and remove some of these social media links. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll save this. So I'm just going to do control S and that'll save the form. So now I have a custom form. Uh, again, the reason I got rid of the top level category and is it a listing or is it a company? Those are things that are only needed if you expect if you want them to be found in search results. My general users that are just going to create a profile so that they can save which events and coupons or which content they like so that they can log back in and view that content they're not going to want to be found in actual search results. So I can go ahead and remove those fields because when we set up that membership level, we're going to actually set it up so they, they're not found in search results by default. So let's go back to membership levels. And we'll scroll down to the general user. We're going to start setting this up. So here, if I had a custom details form, I could go ahead and, and call that form there. I don't necessarily have one set up for my general user, so I'll just call the default one. The profile page sidebar, the profile page badges, and so forth, they're not necessary, but I do want them, after they log in, to go to their home, in their, at their home page in the dashboard. So we'll do slash account slash home. We'll go on to pricing. This is obviously going to be a free level and there's not gonna, I'm not gonna charge them anything to create uh, a profile on our website. And then here we get to utilize the new update feature that we created. So are we gonna enable the contact details form? Yes. And here's where I'm gonna be able to call the custom form. And here it is, the listing general user contact details form. I don't want the listing details tab. I don't want the about tab. I don't want them to be able to upload a logo or a profile photo because they're not going to be found in search results. In terms of privileges, I don't want them to be searchable and I'm going to want to hide them from being indexed by Google because of course a general user may be surprised if they find themselves on the internet as having a profile on your website. So we're going to set that to zero. Uh, we're going to set that to hide from search engines. Um, everything else is good as it is. We'll go check out the features. Um, I'm going to enable their listing feature and then I'm going to enable the add to favorites feature because this is the primary reason why I'm creating a general user for this specific membership level. Okay, And then in terms of displaying, I don't need to worry about this because again, they're not going to be found in search results. So this is not necessary to worry about. We're going to click on save changes. Okay, we'll refresh the page. And here we go, we have it set up here. It's a free level. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a member for that level. So let's go click on members. And we'll click add new member. and we'll select the general user membership level. Go ahead and log in as this member. And what we see here is a completely unique dashboard 
for our general users. There's no About Me tab, there's no Listing Details tab, and of course, with this new update, now that we click on the Contact Details tab, you'll see that we have a customized form. There's no more uh, what best describes you, what does your listing represent, what is your position, what is your company name. It's a very simple and fast form that a general user is used to filling out, such on on Facebook or on Twitter. There's not a lot of data somebody normally has to enter to create a profile on your website. So this is essentially the update. There's another update that we're going to be releasing uh, later on next week. I'm really excited for that update as well, where you're able to select which membership level is able to search content from which membership levels. So very big update that impacts our jobs theme and, and other themes as well. So I look forward to seeing you on our next feature update video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.